me get your ass in Don't you hang up on that all that fashion If a nigga try me up, you know we blast in Yeah, walk in, start taxing What's good YouTube, it's Vine And I'm back with another video And in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing my new poster uh, By We Are The People I don't know if you can see that yeah, we are the people holster. This is a uh, appendix style carry holster. I mean, it goes right in the front. And cool. blue design. My favorite color blue, so that's why I went with design. And this is like a plastic type feel to it. Uh, it's a cool holster though, I like it. Uh, so I went with this one, cause I actually had another holster that I wanted to get that was like $60. But this one was 40, so I went with it just to see if it was a good holster or not. And I actually like it. But I'm gonna do a comparison on this one and the next one that I get, just to get y'all idea of some good holsters to get. Um, but other than that, we finna just, I'm gonna show y'all how it look with a couple different outfits. I got like three outfits I'm gonna try. And I'm gonna just show y'all how good it conceals my weapon. So, let's go. Us. All right, y'all, so I'm finna just try on like three outfits for y'all. And just so I can get an idea of like, what it looks like when I carry my weapon. So again, this is my holster. So my holster looks like. It goes in there just like this. Straight down the front, right? And then this part right here, you basically put this part on your pants. So right now I got it on like, I can't even show you. <laughs> Wait one second. So this is what my gun look like in the holster. Take it out real quick. Without the gun in it, all right? Put the gun in there, and it support my, uh, you know, my uh, flashlight that I got on there, my light and my beam. I ordered it to fit, like I ordered the one that that fits the uh, flashlight. So I think if I take this flashlight off, it's not gonna uh, fit in there right. I'm not sure though, but so this black part right here just simply goes on my pants of whatever I'm wearing. And um, yeah, it just goes on there and it goes right in the front. I wear, I like to uh, holster mine right in the front. I don't put it behind me or on the side of me or nothing like that. And I'm trying to bend down because I ain't got enough space to like show y'all my whole body. So it's kind of awkward right now, but we make it work. So yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how it look on me. And yeah, yeah, first thing first, I do have a loaded mag in there, but my gun is not loaded. Empty. Just to show y'all. All right, so again, the front part, this black part, just goes right in your pants, just like this. Get up close so y'all can see it. Just go right in the front, just like that. And I put my shirt over it. And it's cool. And again, I got on Adidas pants, so you know, these is like real stretchy like pants. And then under, I got the like regular shorts, black little shorts. And it's cool, I like it. Now, it does weigh my pants down, but like I could tighten my pants up and then, uh, you know, fit a little bit better. But I normally ain't gotta do that. I don't normally tie them up for real. I just let them, whatever I, you know. If you wear Adidas pants with these, I'd just say like tighten them up to make sure, you know, it don't uh, sag your pants down too much. But other than that, it's cool. Again, I'm gonna show y'all again. It goes right in the front right here. I feel like Superman doing this. And today I got on a coat, so that's why I'm showing y'all what it looked like with the coat on. So I'm finna show y'all what it looked like with just like the t-shirt and the Adidas pants on. Right in the front here. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a fashion model. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I carry my gun pretty much everywhere. Uh, I went to the mall like this before, uh, grocery stores, Walmart, Kroger, stuff like that, the movies, 
pretty much go everywhere with it. And um, yeah, it's not, you can't see it. You can't really see nothing. Unless you're staring hard. Can't see nothing for real. Which is one of the reasons why I wanted to carry appendix instead of like, um, you know, on my hip, on my right hip, left hip, behind me, or anything like that because I don't got my, it's a different pair of joggers I wear. It's like, you know, the red ones with the white stripe on the side. Um, normally when I wear those, it kind of show like this, like this part of show, the black part right here, a show when like, um, it really just depends on what shirt I'm wearing and what like jogging pants I'm wearing. Sometimes I just be walking around and they show like that. Um, but other than that, it's not bad. Like this shirt is not bad. Um, and yeah, certain hoodies I wear too. Um, it kind of show a little bit. I'ma grab one of my Nike hoodies to show y'all um, how I look with a hoodie on. My Nike ones actually cover well. It's like, I got like two or three Naruto like hoodies that I wear. And it was kind of short, like towards my hip, my waist. And so, yeah, it kind of shows it a little bit, but it's not too bad. All right, so I got my Nike hoodie on. I'm just show y'all what this, what it looked like with my Nike hoodie on. Really can't see nothing. Like, oh, unless you're staring. I just wanted to show how, <laughs> how my Nike look, <laughs> my Nike hoodie look. But, uh. Yeah, you can't really see nothing. Now, when I first, first got my uh, gun, I used to carry it in my pocket. Like when I had my Adidas pants on, I would carry it in my pocket. Show y'all this. I would carry it in my pocket. I'm trying to show y'all like this. But I don't know if y'all can see. It kind of prints a little bit. And then in some cases, um, it uh, uh, sag my pants down a lot. So I stopped carrying it like that. Or, you know, I could wake up and feel like a little baby one day and wanna go with the, feel me, with the uh, hoodie, the hoodie carry. Throw it in the little pocket right here. The thing about it is when I take my hand out, it like, you know, you can tell there's something in there. So I don't like carrying it like that either. Um, and one big thing, is I don't like uh, pocket carrying it for real. Only because I feel like, you know, I won't be able to draw my weapon quick enough if I pocket carry. Uh, even though it fits in my pocket good, even when I wear jeans, it'll fit in my pocket good, but still, I don't think I could take that out quick enough, you know? Same thing, it's just like when I have my phone in my pocket, it'd be some days where I reach in my pocket and I grab my phone out and I cannot get that motherfucker out. So it's like a loaded gun and I, I now, uh, carry with one in the head. So it's like a loaded gun in my pocket. One, I ain't gonna be able to take it out quick enough. And two, trying to take it out, you know, quick, under pressure like that, I might mess around and try to use the, uh, you know, put my finger in here to like finger it the right way to pull it out of my pocket. And I might accidentally have a discharge or something like that. So I don't really like carrying in my pocket. The only time I carry in my pocket is when like, say, Say I'm going into the gas station or something, right? And you know, people walk with their hands in their pocket, so I just walk in there normal with my hands in my pocket. Or if I'm going in there like this, I walk with it, but I have my hand on it, you know, ready to take it out. But other than that, I don't pocket carry at all. The only time I probably have it in my pocket is when I'm uh, in the car or something like that. But other than that, I don't really pocket carry. So the next little outfit I'm gonna show y'all is just a shirt and uh, shorts, and I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. So I don't know if I mentioned this, but 90% of the time, or like 95% of the time, I wear like joggers, Adidas pants, uh, Nike sweatpants, stuff like that. Um, I don't really wear jeans like that if it's just like a normal day, I don't really wear jeans. Um, the only time I wear jeans is just like, when I feel like I need to dress up, I guess. Um, but other than that, I don't really wear jeans like that. I mean, I wore jeans on Easter, so that'd be an example of what I mean by like when I put jeans on. But for the most part, I just wear like joggers, jogging pants, you know, just something comfortable. Um, but as it get hot outside, uh, I definitely would be just wearing like a t-shirt and shorts. So that's why I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like right now. The front part goes right here. 
This would look like without me covering it. And then this one look like I throw the t-shirt over it. Can you see it? So the one thing I want to talk about is like, how does it feel to walk around in it and stuff like that? As far as just walking, it's, no, it's normal. Like when I just normally walk from A to B, anything like that, it's normal. It don't feel awkward at all. I ain't gotta change the way I walk. I don't feel like I gotta, uh, you know, constantly reposition it or nothing like that. That's why, uh, you know, I have appendix carry. Um, I always wanted to appendix carry because uh, I just knew it was gonna be comfortable for me. But as far as just walking, normal. Now, I, I never tried running with it, so I don't really know. Um, as far as sitting down, it's kind of awkward. You do gotta reposition it, but it's not bad. Same with sitting in the car with it, you gotta reposition it. But I don't, uh, you know, I don't carry my gun on me when I'm in a car, like on, on my person. I take it out and I just put it, you know, probably in the cup holder or something like that. But I will get a car holster. I'm gonna show y'all what that look like. But yeah, I don't carry with it on my person in a car because it's like, I be having my seatbelt on. As soon as you throw your seatbelt on, it's like covering your weapon. So if something do happen, you gotta take your seatbelt off. Then you kinda gotta struggle with trying to take it out. So to avoid all that, I just put it in like my cup holder or I just put it on the floor, honestly. And, um, I know some of y'all probably like, oh, wolf, go off while it's on the floor. It's not, you feel what I'm saying? These guns, well, at least Glock, it, it got safety features on it, even though it's no safety on it. So it's not like I'm gonna hit a turn and the gun go slide and just, you know, go off. No, um, sometimes I have it in the holster. Sometimes I just have it on my lap. It really don't matter because I'm in the car. I don't be caring, but uh, for the most part, yeah, it is a comfortable holster. It don't feel too awkward. Now, when you, gotta pick something up off the ground or anything like that. It may be a little awkward. Uh, like I said, sitting down may be a little awkward. You gotta reposition it and stuff like that, but it's not bad. I like it. $40, can't go wrong with it. Now the next holster I'm gonna get is $60, and I believe it's made of like leather or something like that. So that's why I believe it's a little bit more. And like I said, it um, support my uh, flashlight that I got on it. So. It's kind of what it looked like, right in there. Now, one thing about this hostess that I forgot to talk about is, I don't know, the, I forget the term you use for this, but I think it's called retention. I may be wrong, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. So, usually, I, I don't know. I think when you, when you, uh, you know, carry it with a holster, you should be able to take the gun out with one hand. But with this holster, you can't. Like when I first, first got it, you know, the screw in there was real tight, so I loosened it all the way up. And it's still like, I can't take this out with one hand. As y'all can see, it's not coming out. I gotta put two hands on it, then take it out. You know, I don't know if holster's supposed to be like that or not. I'm gonna see when I get my next holster. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but if it is, then it is what it is. Cause I've been practicing on how to take it, you know, drawing it um, with two hands, basically. I'm not really tripping on the one hand part, but I think that's how a is supposed to work, where you're supposed to be able to take it out with one hand, but you don't post it, it don't post it just fall out. You're supposed to actually have to use strength to take it out, but not like that. I didn't think it's, you know, the holster to stop it from coming out like that. I may be wrong, so if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section. But yeah, like I said, I'll be practicing on um, drawing my weapon, you know, holding the holster down, then taking it out. I practice it all the time, so um, I ain't tripping on it. Uh, so this is what I mean, again, can't take it out. You gotta use two hands. So if I try to use one hand, it's not gonna come out. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I guess, <laughs> I guess it do work, but probably not for these shorts. I'm trying again though. Try to take it out with one hand. Oh, do come on. All right, so scratch what I just said. I just think I'm a little punk and don't use no muscle. <laughs> but it's just, I don't know. When I first tried it, it was not coming out. I guess I had it too tight, but now it worked. Yeah, so it's like you got to yank it. But I don't like how it come out like this afterwards. Cause then you're gonna be able to re-host it. But I'm gonna figure it out. Like I said, I'll be practicing 
we're taking it out with two hands. So it's just like a, it's kind of like a three, no, it's still two step. Lift your shirt up to get the clothes out the way. And then I put my hand right here and take it out. As y'all seen, I was able to take it out with one hand. I just got to use more force, I guess, so. It didn't look <laughs> all awkward. <laughs> when I use two hands, it's just simple. You know, but it's not bad. So now I'm gonna put some jeans on and show y'all what it looked like on my jeans. So another thing, real quick, um, this is actually my first time uh, trying it with jeans on. Cause like I said, I don't wear jeans like that. So when I did, when I did uh, wear jeans, I didn't have my holster at the time. So I haven't tried it with jeans on. You know, holstering my weapon with jeans on. Another thing I want to show y'all. Is that I don't have no like I don't know what you call them belts, them little you know I can't think I can't think of what I'm trying to say. But y'all know what belts I'm talking about. Like I don't have one of them fancy like you know super strong belts. This is a normal belt. I actually stole this belt from Kmart when I was working there. <laughs> but yeah, this is a normal belt. As y'all see, this boy beat up. I had this boy for years. You know what I'm saying this type of belt. I used to get whooped with. <laughs> no cap. So again, this is what the belt look like. So if it's anybody who know any kind of belts I should try as far as, you know, belts for firearms, let me know. Cause I ain't got one. Now again, uh, I'm gonna show y'all how I used to carry it before I had a holster. I just simply put it in my pocket. Like this. And as y'all can see, it goes all the way in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? If it, it kind of looks like it's a phone in my pocket, so I mean it conceals well, but again, I I'm just not gonna be comfortable with trying to draw a weapon from my pocket. You feel what I'm saying? Like you gotta dig in here first, then take it out. I mean, if you able to see like something finna go down ahead of time, I guess, or you could have it like this. I don't know, but I just don't care for pocket carrying. Plus, I don't know if any of y'all seen, it was it was like two videos that kind of went viral. It was going around the internet. It was two dudes, like, it was both in the gas station, you know. And uh, one dude had, I believe it was like a Glock 19 with a 30 mag in it. Somebody literally came behind him and snatched it out of his pocket. Another dude, uh, he had it more in his pocket, but, you know, obviously somebody, somebody plotting on you. You feel what I'm saying? They go, they go put two and two together. They know whether you're carrying or not. That's why I said for me, concealing is uh, very important because that's not gonna happen to me. Like my gun right in the front. So if anybody try to take me, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah, my gun is right in the front. So if anybody try to take my gun or anything like that, you know, they gotta literally take it off of me. It ain't gonna be showing. I ain't gonna have no longest thing mag hanging out. I'm gonna be caring for all that. But yeah. Both of the videos, they was pocket carrying, and um, somebody literally just yanked that gun right out, right out the pocket, and ran off with it. Well, one dude upped it on the dude in the store, then ran out, and um, but actually they did that in both videos. They they took that gun, then when the dude kind of like you know, kind of went for it, they upped it on him, and then of course you're not finna, <laughs> you're not finna try to take a gun from somebody who pointed it at you. So yeah, they then ran out the store with it. So. That's why I I don't care to pocket carry. Uh, unless I'm in the car or something, but maybe. Just get a holster. That would be my best advice, bro. Just get a holster. So yeah, go right in the front, just like this. Well, you could put it wherever you feel it should go, but for me, I pin it scary. Now I feel like this might show a little bit more. I don't know. Just with a regular t-shirt. T-shirt and jeans. It's a little like this. It's kind of like awkward. You feel me? Kind of shows a little bit right there. Yeah, it definitely shows right there. So it's not. It's not the best with jeans on. Maybe because my belt kind of poke out right here too. So yeah, it's not the best with jeans on. It actually concealed better with the Adidas pants and stuff. So. This jacket on. Definitely can't see it at all now. You feel what I'm saying? But like I said, we getting into the warmer weather. 
So I, I'm definitely not walking in the house with no, no, uh, you know, jacket on, no coat on. And it's not a heavy coat either, but still, I want to walk out the house with this. So yeah, this would look like with the Nike hoodie. Uh, it's a little bit better. Like I said, bro, you'll be straight for real. You'll be straight. Depending on what way you carry, it really don't matter. You'll be straight. The only the only time a person can really see it on you is if like they staring. They like I said, if they plotting on you, just staring at you on some weird shit. Then they'd be able to tell. But an everyday person, like if you go in the mall, everybody is. You feel me? They go into a certain direction. So I might be walking this way. Somebody walking this way. So they ain't even paying attention to you. They probably look at you a couple seconds and that's it. So. With all those outfits that I put on, you can't see it for real, except for the jeans. But like I said, when you normal, everyday person, you're not really paying attention to nobody. Uh, you, you know, it might be some people who might see it, but they don't care, you know. Um, but it's not bad. It ain't like super awkward, like boxy type of printing, you know. It's just a little bit slight with the uh, jeans on. But when you, like I said, everyday person, you go to the mall and you just walking around. Ain't nobody gonna be, you know, looking at you that hard. I don't think they shouldn't be looking at you that hard to the point where they realize you got something on you. Um, like I said, most of the time I carry with um, Adidas pants on, Nike sweatpants, jogger pants, uh, what else? Shorts. In my hand is better. So I could definitely take it out better with one hand with jeans on compared to like the Adidas pants. It's smooth. I'm gonna practice uh, drawing my weapon. Cause I haven't, I don't really practice like that for real. Um, but I feel like I need to, I need to start doing it more. So I'm gonna just do a few of them. Um, I feel like there's really no, why well, I'm gonna say it ain't no incorrect way. Cause it is, I guess. But it's, it's just all about getting it out quick enough. And um, getting your aim on whatever target that you aiming at you know getting your sights on the quick is what i meant to say but yeah i'm gonna just practice uh drawing it because it actually feels good with jeans on um doing it with like adidas pants on and sweatpants is cool too but uh it's better with jeans on i ain't finna be wearing jeans more just because of that but i'm just saying so i'm finna draw it a few times just to show y'all what it looked like and I need to get one of them little beepy things. I be seeing it. I seen a couple videos on it where they got that little uh, tool where you can press it and then it wants to beep, you draw. I don't know what it's called, but all my gun people, I think y'all should know what I mean. But yeah. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Y'all gotta let me know if I'm if it's quick enough or not. I do my best, but I'm new at it. I'm doing it again. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'll be scratching the fuck out myself. <laughs> my like my thumb be scratch be scratching myself. <laughs> That shit hurt. Don't do it again. I'm just counting down so I know when I'm gonna draw. But I guess I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, that was slow. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. This is why you supposed to practice. I could have been dead right there, y'all. Bullet holes all through my body. I would have been looking like this. Like a slow motion. Nah, I'm gonna be like the nigga of Matrix. You feel what I'm saying? As soon as they try to shoot me, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Make. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all a scenario. I'm uh. Act like I'm walking. I'm uh. Taking my uh. Sunday, Sunday walk around the park, and a naked man with a knife trying to run up on me and stab me.
Yeah, look at him through. I was just busting him like. What? Give me another scenario. Uh. All right, let's say I've been shot him three times, but somehow he get back up, and I already then walked off. So I'm finna act like I'm walking off, and then you feel what I'm saying he, he tried to attack me again. I gotta do my little walk that I did again. <laughs> All right, just shot him three more times, and now he dead. We go say, uh, feel me? I'm at the club. Cause you know, I'm 21 now, so you feel me? I'm at the club with a girl getting twerked on. And then, uh, yeah, I'm at the, we gonna say I'm at the club getting twerked on by this girl. Then, you feel what I'm saying? The cup she got in her hand, like the movies, smash it on the uh, counter. You feel what I'm saying? Now she got a knife trying to stab me. <laughs> so I'm getting twerked on. Look, this, this me getting twerked on. Like this, hold on. This my man's holding me up. Cause him, she got a lot of booty. So you feel me? I got, I'm getting torqued on like this. I'm trying to hold on. And then she, uh, I'm like this. So I'm getting torqued on, right? And then that's when she, you know, smashed the little cup on the counter. Now she's trying to stab me. She, I'm getting torqued on. <laughs> now she get, you feel me? Now she got about two, three holes up here in the chest. Uh, What's another scenario? Say I'm at Planet Fitness working out. I gotta get, I gotta get my strep. I can't strep. But yeah. So I'm at next scenario. We at Planet Fitness. I'm um, doing my stretch. Uh, a nigga come in mad because he didn't pay his membership, so they expired it. So now he trying to go on the rampage, beating everybody up. We talking about swole. I'm talking about big like Zeus. Walking in there trying to beat everybody up because his membership expired. Feel what I'm saying so while I'm stretching, minding my business, you know, trying to trying to get some muscle because I'm skinny. Minding my business, I'm doing my stretches. Feel what I'm saying? Doing my stretches, and he come in there trying to trying to uh in there trying to uh DDT me, uh rock bottom me. Now I'm just minding my business. He like, hey bro, you trying to square up? I'm pissed today, so I need I need to fight somebody. Feel what I'm saying? I got my music in. Not even listening to him, you know, some chill. You know, I'm chilling. Then he just punched me in the back of my head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, now he, uh, going to the ER. All right, next scenario. You know what I'm saying? We taking it back to like the Wild Wild West when they did that. I think it's three step, three step draw. So one, two, three. Then you turn around and let him have it. So I'm finna do that. Already. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do that again. Hold on. I'm gonna do like a five five steps and then draw. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad though. I like it. And stay in place. It don't really do much moving. So if y'all like this video, please give me a like, a comment, and subscribe. Comment something. Uh, I had got like six comments on my first gun video, which is dope. I like seeing y'all comment. And, you know, I do my best to comment back on whatever y'all say. Because uh, that lets me know that y'all fuck with my videos. And um, I'm letting y'all know the next video that I upload should be a range video. Me and my brother will go to the range. Um, we're gonna shoot our guns. I'm gonna try to see if I can rent out some, you know, a couple other guns. I do want to shoot an AK and I do want to shoot a Draco. So hopefully, when I go to the range, I got those available. Or I might bring somebody with me that got a Draco so I can shoot his. I don't know. I just hope y'all, you know, continue to watch these videos. I feel like it's a lot of y'all out there who like seeing gun videos. And, um, you know, I want to continue to make uh, content. Dang. Lord, my mouth getting dry. But yeah, I'm gonna continue making content on it. Um, and yeah, I don't really got nothing else to say. So again, if y'all like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every single time I drop a video. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video, I promise. Sheesh.